everyone, we're going to find the value of a plus b, where a and b are constants for this equation. All right, um, before we start, I'm going to rewrite all of this and um, look at the first part. This part here, we have 2x squared y cubed to the power of a. And I'm going to use my power of the product rule. So uh, that's going to be 2 to the power of a, x to the power of 2a, and y to the power of 3a. So that's this part. This is divide. So I'm going to put this in the denominator for xy. Also, this 2 is um, 1 half. This 2 is in the denominator. So put this 2 right here. And then the rest, I think I can just copy down. Yeah, so we can just copy the rest down. x cubed, y cubed. All right, now from here, I'm going to group my bases together. For example, <coughs> I have base 2 here. So for base 2, this is 2 to the power of a divided by 2 to the power of 1. This is going to, and this is going to be your division rule. This is going to be 2 to the power of a minus 1. So I'm going to write that 2 to the power of a minus 1. Now our other, um, we have x's here and x here. So that's your other base, uh, another base. So we have x to the power of 2a, then plus 2, and this is to the power of 1. So that's going to be minus 1 because it's in the denominator, just like we did for this one. And the third term we have, or third base, is y. So this is going to be times y. And then we have 3a, and then uh, plus 1. And then uh, this is going to be 1, so this could be minus 1. And then we still have uh, bx cubed, y cubed. And this is all divided by 4 which I can call uh, 2 squared, right? So now that I have the 2 squared here, I'm going to go ahead and combine this with this base here. So this is going to be 2a minus 1 minus 2. So that takes care of that. This is going to be x to the power of 2a, and this is going to be plus 1. This is going to be y to the power of 3a. This just equals 0. Then we have uh, b x cubed y cubed. I'm going to try to keep everything on here so we can see it better. Um, I'm going to erase this. So basically, um, we need to find a and b. Well, um, for y, let's look at this. If you're going to equate coefficients, that means this has to match this. So these are our base y, base y. So that means you're going to have uh, 3a equals 3. So a equals 1. All right. Now if a equals 1, I'm going to substitute in 1 in all of these and then solve for b. All right, so that's what I'm going to do next. So if I substitute in 1, I'm going to get uh, this equals 2 uh, to the power of 1 minus 1 minus 2. Then we have x, and this is going to be uh, 2 times 1 plus 1. And we still had this uh, 3 to the power, uh, y to the power of 3a equals, and this was... Uh, a is 1, so I'll just take that A off, and B, X cubed, Y cubed. So we have this matched up. So I'm going to match this up with my B, X cubed. Uh, this is going to equal the 1's cancel, so you have 2 to the power of negative 2. This is going to be times X cubed equals uh, B, X cubed. Therefore, um, uh, 2 to the power of negative 2 is 1 fourth. Therefore, my b equals 1 fourth. And now we have to find a plus b. So that's going to be 1 
plus one fourth because my a was one and this is going to equal five fourths and that's your final answer thank you have a nice day bye bye